Hello to everyone, guys. Today in this video, I will just show you um, and talk about the constraints, that how in Odoo 16 we can use constraints. So um, constraints in any real business scenario, there is a chance that users may give incorrect data. By using constraints, we can prevent users from entering incorrect data. Constraints are the restrictions that are set on a record to prevent incorrect data from being saved before the record is saved. So uh, for this practice, I'm using Odoo 16 Community Edition and as usual, Visual Studio Code and my custom module name is Customization. So uh, the two ways Python constraints and SQL constraints are two tools provided by Odoo for automatically verifying invariants. In Python, constraints are defined along with a method decorated with constraints, which I will just show you further um, in this example, in this video. And the Python constraint is a method decorated with constraints. It, include, it included on a record of the set, as I already have told you, decorator are used to specify which fields are involved in the constraint. So let's suppose, uh, For example, uh, in our Python file, we need to import uh, just like that. We can say that from odoo.exceptions and then import validation error. And after that, whenever we want to uh, start writing a constraint, we have to say api.constraints. And then in here, we can uh, just pass the, uh, rec, uh, the field name, whatever field name we, we, um, we want. The, let's suppose it's amount. And then we can write the uh, function here, like check whatever amount and self how we are just writing our function. And then we can add the condition, which I will just show you later in this video. Okay, let's start doing this video. Okay, I mean, let's going further. So if we go in our Visual Studio, so let's just discuss with you the scenario. The scenario today is we just go on sales. So in sales, if we go in configuration, so there is a menu item, which is a sales teams. So here there are three kinds of teams sales, point of sales, pre-sales, three teams. So what is the scenario? Oh, manage query, yeah. So let me just restart the service and I upgrade the module and then I just, uh, let me just upgrade, let me just pause this video and then I will start it from here. Yeah. So yeah, I, I just had to restart the service. So if I go in configuration again, sales teams. So if I go in any kind of sales team form, so here are, I'm just going to add a Boolean field, which says that um, managing queries and at one time only one team can manage queries. So, so the scenario is if sales team has selected that Boolean field and value is true, no other team can select that. So if any will, any team will try to select that Boolean field, it will throw us a constraint error. And our constraint function will put in, in fact, will come in, in fact, in effect. So let's start doing that. So what I am going to do, I'm just going to add a new Python file in our customization custom module. So yeah, so I would say CRM team dot pi and I add it in here. I will say from dot import. Yeah. So here, why CRM team? Because if you go here on this sales team and if you can see the model is CR dot team, which I copy from here and we go in our Python file. So let's just copy the date, this 
some syntax from there so okay so from odoo api we don't need this and class we we just say crm team extension and crm dot team this is our mod model which we are inheriting and field we are adding here which is manage queries and we say fields dot boolean and string we pass is we say uh, queries managing right so this is the field which we have added on um, on our crm.tt module and now we are going to um, inherit and we are going to add it on that view which is this one which is this one and to f inherit it we need this inherit id external id which is this one so what we are going to do we go in our visual studio code and first we need to create a new view file or you can add it on your existing view file it's up to you i would say crm team dot xml and after that i need to add it in our in my manifest file so here i would say views and crm underscore team dot xml okay so now here let me just copy uh, paste that inherit id and let me just copy any syntax of inheriting so which i have done and before that i would say odu and this ending tag <coughs> should be here this inherit id should be in here in reference and here i can say anything i would say sales team uh, manage queries extension and then i can copy and paste it here and okay and the model a we want to inherit is the crm dot team crm dot team i guess so uh let me just check it again uh model a crm dot team yes crm dot team that's right the inheritance id is there okay um field we want to choose where we want our field to be so after company underscore id i would say this field is company underscore id so if we write here company underscore id sorry for that company underscore id after yeah and here um, the field name we have got is manage queries uh yes so we go here control v we don't need any widget here so that's it so this will do the trick or do ending tag is fine this is fine uh, make sure in manifest file you give your sale because uh that is in you're inheriting and crm is also in sale uh, that sales team is also in that module so you just need to restart the service and upgrade odoo module so here my module is this one general customization i upgrade this i 
I'm just pausing this video so it won't take much time. Okay, guys, um, I module has been upgraded, but I got one error which I need to mention you. So when I created this file, rather than inherit, just write inherit, I just wrote name there. So which is just a copy paste mistake. So just um, I needed to tell you. Okay, so we just go in our front end and click on sales again. So in sales, we go in our sales teams. And as I open this team, I can see queries managing. So what I want when I click on this field and I save it, it's fine. But when I go in another team, and if I click here as well, queries managing, and I tries to save, it's it's letting me save it, but it shouldn't be the case. It should say that already one team has already selected this, which is sales. So we just do it like so. For that purpose, we need to write a function. So. First of all, you need to add this one thing, exceptions. This is for the validation error or for Python constraints. And I have already added it here. And now I'm going to write the function. And with that, as I have already told you, that it starts with at api.constraints. And uh, when we are at, we can add the field here, which is manage queries, it all depends on this field. After that, we start our function, which is check manage queries. And we can, this is self, okay. Um, after that, we can have a loop. We say for record in self and we create, we just um, assign a variable. We say that team managing queries. And here we are just checking uh, in the record set we are searching. Uh, we say self.search. And we are searching in a search domain and we are searching for uh, manage queries and we say that is equal to true check and the record said if manage queries is true or not and then after that uh, we can also check another um, condition as well, and which is ID. And here, I would say, I explained to you this, this one, why I'm writing this. And we say a record dot ID. That's it. This is the one first, second condition. And let's do this limit is one. Right. I think this one is a mistake. True. This one is the mistake. Okay. So guys, I'm just searching for uh, in the record set that if manage queries, this field uh, is true. And I'm also checking that this current record set, if that is not the case, that ID is not, uh, this one is not checked, right? And after that, I'm saying that if if it has found it and we say that it's also there this field then just raise 
exceptions dot validation error and then uh, we can write strings in f strings you already know that how we can write it or you can just simply uh, just write the message in uh, double colons i would say queries are already being managed managed yeah by the um, team and then we can also write the team name as well and I would say because this is F we can writing F string sorry and this team we have already got it there this variable dot we get it name there right okay guys so i hope you got this so in this function we are checking in this variable the if uh, this it's been checked or not and uh, this is not the current record set and if it is then we are just if already it's been checked then we are just raising this validation error a constraint so let's restart the service and I upgrade we don't actually need to upgrade the service upgrade the module sorry because we have just added it on our a Python file so again just restart here sorry okay so I hope it has been upgraded Yes, uh, so if we go in sales and sales teams, so let's start with sales. So what I do, I just say that this team is managing queries. I save it and now pre-sales, the second team, I also say that this team is also going to manage queries okay it's saying that queries are already being managed by the help desk team sales so it means our constraint function is working fine and yeah this is how it it is this is how we can just add constraints and this is python constraint in my next video i will also talk about sql constraint how we can add that i hope you like this video if you like it please like it share it subscribe this channel and also share it with your friends thank you guys bye bye